but uh, hopefully that's all avoided and now uh, back to go racing. Good work, good work on our program. So if you're uh, following it now here, folks, this is race number 11 of our 30, race number 11 of our 30. But remember, of course, we've had a practice qualifier for all of them, so effectively we're halfway. We sound like we're a third of the way through the program. That's as far as racing is concerned, but uh, the overall event, which has uh, 40... Uh, uh, races, of course, that is uh, 20 down and 20 to go. So uh, we're rocking hope you're as well. 15 to 16, uh, one, two, fives. Uh, up now, courtesy of Alpine Star. You wouldn't choose another brand in the world, would you? Why would you? Uh, when you've got Alpine Star, superior protection for your uh, body. Uh, do you see it in MotoGP? Yes. Do you see it in Formula One? Yes. Do you see it in Aussie uh, Supercars? Yes. Do you see it in World Moto? Yes. The choice of champions. AMA, what's the number one brand that stands out? A stars, A stars all the way. Alpine Star, proud to give you number one protection. Proud to be number one in supporting Junior Motocross. A stars, uh, 15 to 16, uh, one, two, fives. Lockie, 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 that's better, that's better. 381, go you, Napier Star. Lockie McLaren, turn it up. Had a shocker in moto number one. This is better, this is Lockie, we know. Lockie McLaren, that is a whiz to see. So, well done, go Lockie, 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 all the way. The Motorland Yamaha, Alpine Star, Crown Kiwi, 100% performer. So, uh, going for it and going well. Good work, good work out there. 381. Out and going, 94, uh, 275, yeah, yeah, Riley, 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 Riley Burgess on that uh, R&D Husky Atlantic Oils, uh, a DSA 104 coaching, Intent MX gear, Kelway construction supported bike on the KDM 125, Riley getting better. You watch the Aussies, you watch them all weekend. They will get better, they will get stronger. They have a, an immense amount of uh, detail to their motocross. Uh, that, that, that's why I use the word detail. So you, you'll find they just get better and better. They do in New Zealand. I find that, uh, you know, it just seems to be their Aussie way. It's more intense of what they're doing back home. And that intenseness has turned into getting better results all the time. Whereas uh, for me, it's like the first moto was great and then I'm just feeling too tired for the second one and hardly front for the third. But these guys will be more the opposite. They'll be learning from it and then they'll be picking up their game all the time and picking up their game. Hey, speaking about picking up their game, hey, Djokovic beaten last night. What a highlight that one was, hey? Now we're seeing it. Yes, indeed, of course, uh, uh, Fedra and uh, others, of course, that have been up there along with Nadal, you know, they've sort of gone off their peak and it's allowed Djokovic to come along and now maybe is this his peak that's over. So well done, Changing of the guard and world tennis and couldn't uh, happen at a better tournament than the Aussie Open. The Aussies do it so well. The greatest tennis tournament in the world right over there in Melbourne. Just ask anybody who's been, they'll tell you that. All right, here we go, we go. Back to the real sport. It's motocross and it's flying. Yeah, yeah. Going again. Seth, Seth, Seth all the way. Seth Morrow. And Lockie. Lockie back there. He's in third place at the moment. But, hey, that's still Lockie McLaren that we know. So good work from Lockie to be holding on. But uh, Seth Morrow's got the number one at this stage. So uh, Seth, he won, of course, moto number one. And he'll be trying to do it again in moto number two. So uh, bring it on, the uh, Seth Morrow Show. Rocking into a neighbourhood near you. There he is, Seth out there, 94. On the corner on the gas gas. Here's Riley on the outside. Riley Burgess in second. Lockie up there for third. Now going to uh, uh, Case at the moment. Case Tom's good work, Case. He's still hanging on there. Case Tom out of uh, Leaston on that uh, TC125, the Beards Collision Centre, Brookhaven Train Facility, Studio 875 Traction uh, Motorcycles with uh, 454 Unlimited Mojo Motorcycles, Vertex Lubricants, uh, Chase uh, Works and Oxbow Adventure Limited. Quality uh, sponsors from a quality rider. Nice to see him, uh, Case Tom. Shame uh, bro's not uh, riding, but uh, that's another story. Hope to see uh, bro come back for more great uh, moto. Love to see our visitors coming from Canterbury and when you're a national champion great to see you mini champions and junior champions alike so uh, uh, case tom's putting on a uh, shout special shout out to their very special uh, mum and dad uh, they are uh, so good uh, lovely people uh, to uh, denise and to uh, ben uh, love you to bits and always appreciate your great support for our sport and for turbo sound as we hit the roads again for another massive year so uh, and uh, their brookhaven training facility uh, near christchurch venue of last year's uh, bcc new zealand mini motocross champions just a next 
level event. It was absolutely awesome. Held in the school holidays uh, late last year, around uh, 30 September, 1 October, in fact, it was. So uh, bring it on with uh, Team Toms. All right, back to our racing. There we go. Seth at the moment, then going to Riley. See how I talked about the Aussie picking up his game. Here come the Aussies coming to town. And the high flying's got 275 on his shirt, but he's got letter B on the bike. And that's our man and doing all the flying out there. Go Riley, Riley, all the way. The man from the Sydney is going, of course, Aussie Day yesterday. Had a great local uh, competition on uh, uh, my favourite radio station, More FM. Shout out to Gareth and Sarah and the new More FM show, doing a great job, crew. And, uh, of course, uh, not talking about with Aussie Day yesterday, what's the, uh, what sort of the best thing you think about Aussie? And uh, when I was on the radio in the morning for a uh, motocross uh, catch-up, uh, for me and I reminded them, the castle. Hey, the castle. Saw it on the box just before Christmas as well. That's the best thing to come out of Aussie for my money. And uh, I think I might have got a bit of feedback and a bit of support for that one as well. Love you Aussies, wouldn't have it any other way. Plenty of trips over there for some good motocross over many a good year. Of course, we've been over there for uh, our World Championship events. Uh, uh, they were... Uh, uh, held in uh, Victoria a few years ago and to see now, well, in fact, that's over 20 years ago too, by the way, but uh, to see just uh, where the sport is in Australia, love it. Of course, we've been to Coolum a fair bit. That's a bit of a tear in our eye with uh, no more Coolum as a uh, venue on the Australian uh, moto scene as well. Just, uh, of course, it's uh, the uh, surf, uh, sun, uh, Sunshine Coast area just uh, north of Brisbane. So... Uh, there we have it, uh, gotta love our Aussies. And of course, uh, here tomorrow, our FIM Oceania. So it's New Zealand woman versus Australia woman. And a great photo, thanks Aussie, riding up uh, in the square in Palmerston North for a great photo with the clock tower in the background. The Aussie team's come to the mighty Manawa too. And we wish them all the very best going up against our uh, Kiwi girls here tomorrow for FIM Oceania Women's uh, Challenge. Uh, all part of uh, FIM uh, Women in Motorcycling. Hey, what a cool year coming up, of course. We've got an official recognition of a uh, World Women's Road Racing Championships gone to the days of the Women's Cup, won by our own uh, uh, Avalon uh, Lewis, or as she was, Avalon Biddle at the time. And of course, uh, we know what we've done in motocross. Uh, Catherine Prum, two-time world champion. And uh, now, of course, with... Uh, our own Courtney Duncan, four times world motocross champion. So Little New Zealand's had six world motocross championships in the women's uh, in the last uh, 12 or 15 years. So uh, what a celebrity and uh, what a show to have. Having uh, Courtney as our ambassador uh, this weekend, hope to be catching up with her as the uh, weekend progresses. So uh, hot rockin' show underway here at the moment, a little after uh, one o'clock uh, for this uh, junior uh, 125 field. Uh, keen to get it back, 15 to 16, Alpine star lineup, 94 and uh, Super Seth, 15 years of age, holy Toledo, only seems like the other day he was in mini motocross, so there you go. if there's one thing common, we all get older. The old uh, 128 backing it out with another uh, good performance down here. There we go, uh, 33 to get in there, uh, Jared uh, Bryant out of uh, Napier on the uh, Bay four wheel drive. A centre Hawks Bay supported uh, KDM, uh, sorry, my apologies, Husqvarna MC125, Jaden Bryant. There's one thing I have noticed in recent times, a number of uh, quality riders coming from the Hawks Bay has dropped off a little bit, so nice to see some fresh talent coming over there. All right, big time jump, and there's your race leader. There he goes, 94, 94 all the way. And for Rabi in second place, gaining, gaining. I talked about it before. Tell you what, uh, Seth Morrow on his toes. Got to be super accurate. Can he still do it? We're about to find out because uh, he has got more pressure coming on him. So uh, let's... Uh, Watch it and box it and keep an eye on it. Pressure, pressure, pressure all the way. Here they are with the charge, so 94, your race leader. Going for it, going hard. Uh, well done, B out there for uh, Riley. He's high on the boom. Notice that with Seth, he's low on the boom. He's got the inside line, he's on that rut. He's got that one nailed. But I'll tell you what, Riley's pace here on the outside is liquid lightning as he uh, flows through there so brilliantly well at the moment. 381 for Lockie, 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 all the way. Lockie McLaren, Case Tom's in there. A two bike battle, double one, two, double one, two. Cooper, 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 Cooper Phillips. Somebody there uh, just in front of him missed, uh, missed who that bike was. We'll try and pick it up as they uh, come through on the uh, next lap. But uh, 
Cooper Phillips only a sixth place in Moto 1. I think he was as high as a 3 or 4 during the Moto, but slipped back a little bit there at the moment. But uh, I tell you what, the pace on in New Zealand Junior 125 Racing, the original bike, a 125, an absolutely brilliant bike for young riders to develop on. And these kids as teenagers, you know, they've got body strength to go with it. They've got stamina, they've got the skill, they can master a 125. And to watch how well they ride on these is just beautiful to see. Long time, of course, when uh, there used to be a, a small capacity class many years ago, but it wasn't until the Japanese bikes came out that revolutionised this. And, of course, uh, the first ever world championship for a 125 held back in 1975, the same year that AMA had their first ever Supercross, right? Their first ever Supercross. What are two things common about that? The first ever world champion and the first ever AMA Supercross champion have both been here to Woodville. Akira Watanabe, original world champion in 125 racing and uh, Dave Simix out of uh, California was the original Supercross winner, 1975. And he, of course, has raced right here at Woodville as well. So uh, pretty awesome. And it's our international flavour of our greatest motocross. All right, 112, 112, and hot rocking it out there. Cooper Phillips and Wink through. Right, 94, there's your race lead. There's first place. Here's Riley in second. That's 1-2, right? Now the gap, now the gap. So they're one and two. It's a, a duel out there. It's a two-horse race, as they say. Where's the gap? Where's third? But I'll tell you what, when they're coming, it's three, four, five. Five, six, they're packing up on each other. Look how close. Here's your run. So who's got the next one? And here we go, Tomsey. And there goes uh, Cooper, Cooper, Cooper all the way. And he's got it, he's got it. Cooper's up one, he's got fourth. Yes, Cooper Phillips moving up one place. He's got fourth position now, so uh, that's a move up for him. So he's got to be pleased with that. So he's actually gone up the equivalent of the two placings in the last two laps. Had dropped off a little bit, but he's fought his way back now. This is where he should be in the field. He's a, a later experienced guy in 125 racing compared to those other boys out there. Of course, he was on his own pump and track in uh, North King Country last weekend. But this is a different kind of uh, dirt for him. In fact, this is a, uh, I suppose you'd say, a, a less significant dirt. For many of our riders, they're either racing pumice, sand, or hard pack. So to have this medium pack, have this uh, soft, uh, silty dirt like we have here in uh, Woodville, is very much a different uh, race surface for these guys. So it's a matter of finding their own. We've uh, packed in plenty of moisture into it, so it's looking uh, pretty primo at the moment. Here we go, 232. More of our riders out here, like uh, Fletcher Amy out of Ashes. Go, Fletcher. And there's 94, there's your race lead, there's your race lead, 94, Seth Morrow, set to take it out, Riley Burgess, second place for the letter B. Yo, oh, could have been a change, how good was that? Case, Tom's, Cooper, Phillips, Oh, wow. Let's go back to the timing. I want to see what that one is. I tell you what, that wasn't anything more than the uh, uh, the, the thickness of a knobbly, I reckon, on that one. Super close. Cooper Phillips coming at you. Did Case Toms hold him out? We'll find out on the MXT uh, CTAS update in a second. Uh, I'm going back to the computer screen for that one. Oh, ho, ho. super close, guys. That's what you call coming down to the wire. And uh, let's go to the electronic update of that margin. That's what I want to see. So first of all, in our update of our 20-odd ride, in the field who actually got it so I'm pretty sure it was Case well yes it was there's Case and that margin point zero four four. there you go so it wasn't any it was zero tenths it was uh, 44 one hundredths of a second so Case Tom's over Cooper well done and in fact the other rider in there was Aiden Hall and Aiden's been the one I'll be missing his numbers aren't quite bold enough for me to see as clearly and uh, we've just seemed to have missed him each opportunity so he was in there so well done they've got that fifth place Ollie Corbin Lockie McLaren Delton Manson Finn Lennox and Aston Scott Make the top ten. I think that's two tenths in a row for Aston as well today.